What's up, the Comic Coalition here for another video for you guys today. Now today we're going to start a video a little bit different because I haven't been pumping out enough content or enough videos, and I've but I have been grabbing plenty of toys, plenty of action figures, plenty of Funko Pops. So today we're going to start out the video with a haul, then we're going to go out hunting for a little bit, and then I'll show you the rest of my haul, like whatever I pick up out there. But we did go to think, no, where did we go? Went to the comic book shop and they had buy two get one half off Funko Pops. So, my girlfriend wanted to pick some out, so she picked out Betty Boop. As you can see from the, you know, the <coughs> array here, it's probably not something that I would have picked out, but we got Betty Boop here. It's definitely a dope pop. Everybody loves Betty Boop. Now, what I was really excited about is Wheezy. Wheezy from a Toy Story. Toy Story is like my favorite Disney movie. I think as a toy collector, Toy Story has to be high up there on your list of movies you love like I don't care if you don't like animation or if you don't like Disney movies and this that and third if you're a toy collector and you don't like Toy Story I don't know something's wrong with you for real also we got the specialty series Genie it glows in the dark the glow on this guy is awesome um <clears throat> I felt like it was appropriate time to get this guy especially after the Aladdin trailer just dropped not too long ago and Definitely wanted to pick him up. I want to know what you, what did you guys think of Will Smith as a genie? What do you guys think of the Aladdin trailer? Um, at first, I was just like everyone else. It was funny, all the memes for Will Smith and all that stuff. I, I part, I had to partake in a few myself. But after this latest trailer, I'm, I'm really gonna give Will Smith a chance. I think he's gonna bring his own little flair to the character, and I think he's gonna do a pretty good job. So I think everybody. To just be open-minded and give Will Smith a chance. Because he is Will Smith after all. And everybody enjoys Will Smith at some point in time in their life. Um, but also, now I already have a review for this. I didn't get to tell y'all that I picked up the NECA Ace Ventura figure. Well, I guess I did get to tell you because I reviewed it. But here it is. Picked it up. Was really happy about this figure. I'm telling you, NECA's knocking it out of the park lately. And NECA is like the main line that I'm collecting right now. So I was really happy to get this figure. But I don't want to talk you guys heads off forever. I'm about to go out there, go a few places. And hopefully find some more toys. So join me. Oh yeah, I definitely will get all three of them together. So I'm over here at Walmart, as you can tell. Man, this Walmart refuses to stock anything but like hella glen pools, bro. So many glen pools. Like 30 of them, no lie. Nothing but going pulls up here, bro. Damn. Yeah, this one might looks like it totally sucks. of interest here for me at this Walmart is this guy right here contemplating on picking him up I'm not sure yet might we'll see I am really hyped for Shazam though and I did see Captain Marvel and Captain Marvel was pretty disappointing to me but it is what it is it's okay movie well it looks like they finally put a few new things over here in my NECA section Mostly things I already have, and a bunch of predators. A bunch of predators, but I'm not into this line really. I've been trying so hard not to dive into it, but it gets very tempting. Very tempting indeed. Let's see. As far as the pops go.
so it looks like they have the DC Promo Age Castle over here. Which I could have actually gotten that for really cheap one day, but I didn't go along with it. Should have made them um, honor the price tag they had on it, which was for 10 bucks, but wanted up not doing it. So apparently, my Target put out some of the Avengers toys kind of early. And we have this two pack over here. My friend, my friend Chris found them earlier this morning, but we have a problem. They're street dated. They went and sold them to him earlier, so I don't know what to do. But I have it right here in hand. Maybe I should try them up and see if they'll let me buy it. I'm not sure, but we will figure it out. Damn, his box is messed up. I just had to pick him up. Alright, I'm now back at the man cave. I didn't successfully pick up the two pack from Endgame. They would not sell it to me. They wouldn't sell it to my friend Chris. But I did get a lot of cool stuff. First off, I got the SH Figure Arts Harry Potter. Um, if you guys want to see a review on them, let me know down in the comments below. I'll probably open them up and give you guys a better look at them in a future video. But, yeah. <clears throat> I was really cautious diving into this line, but now I'm definitely going to want Ron. And I definitely want Snape that's coming out. I also got the Flurkin Pop. My homie Chris helped me out with this one. The glow on this one's pretty awesome. Definitely glad to pick this up. Um, it's probably one of my favorite parts about the Captain Marvel movie. Even though the Captain Marvel movie definitely wasn't my favorite. Also, Shazam comes out next weekend. So I had to get the villain from Shazam. I forgot his name, Dr. Savannah. Had to pick him up. Not don't really I don't know anything about his character or even if, if he's in the comic books. Because I'm not like a really big into Shazam, even though I'm really hyped for the movie. I'm aware of who Shazam is and I've read a few of his comics where I'm not like super deep into Shazam and know all his villains and stuff but was able to pick this up also got the <clears throat> ultimate striped gremlins figure he's not in the box because I actually open my toys and I play with them not like a child or anything but I pose them around capture photos with them and different things and he's pretty creepy. This is another black hole that I've been trying not to dive into. But my girlfriend picked up the figure for me. And now my girlfriend also picked up the Harry Potter for me. Two figures that I've been trying to hold out on. And now unknowingly she caused a new black hole in my life. To where I will be spending more money on more Gremlins and more Harry Potter SH figure arts. So we can thank her for that. Also picked up the SH figure arts Krillin. Not the um, Krillin from Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball Super, but the Krillin from Dragon Ball. Was super happy about picking this guy up because I got Goku, I got Roshi. I'm only missing Bulma. I think I'll pick up Bulma within the next few weeks. But definitely Krillin's one of my favorite characters. If you know me, you know I love Dragon Ball Z. And I'm not one of those guys who's like all into just the super powered characters. I love Krillin. I love Yamcha and Tien. Those are like my favorite type of Dragon Ball Z characters besides Vegeta. Vegeta's number one. Also, my other favorite show, Bob's Burgers. Picked up Tina and Louise. I need to get Bob, Linda, and Jean. Um, ever since I picked these up, I've been feeling awkward and weird because it's like, we gotta have all of them. You can't just have a few of them. And you guys know I'm all about fig sniffs. I'm all about opening my toys and smelling them, taking them out of their packages and stuff, but I don't know. I kind of want to keep these on card. I don't know, man. I'm having a hard time figuring out what I'm going to do with these. But I also picked up a bunch of other cool stuff. Just simply don't have the time to show it to you right now. I got some movies, some comic books, all type of stuff. Sorry for the lack of content lately. I have a lot going on. Hopefully we'll be moving into a new house soon. 
fingers crossed about that but i hope you guys enjoyed this video enjoyed this hunt be sure to give it a thumbs up button be sure to subscribe and as always you have a good day youtube